When it comes to human trafficking, many people think it doesn't happen here, but law enforcement are finding more and more cases. In order to reduce the number of cases, most people believe the first step is raising awareness. Tonight, Fox 28 News reporter Dora Miller joins us with the city of Cedar Rapids efforts. Dora? Well, Scott and Karen, so many organizations showed up tonight to break the flow of human trafficking. It is a national issue, but it's also happening right in our own city. The statistics we hear. In the sex trafficking industry, 80% of those are women and girls. And the numbers we see on the page, they're all people, families, children. Some statistics that will make your stomach churn. The average age of a tra trafficking victim is 12 years old. And that's the average age. So there are girls as young as five. Only one to two percent of those girls are rescued. But if I'm a trafficker, I use the same girl over and over and over. Mm -hmm. And these pimps can have four to six girls or more. And they're making one hundred and fifty to two hundred thousand dollars per child each year. Why? Because they are forcing them to have sex up to 20 to 48 times a day. Iowa sees a portion of the activity. In fact, according to Polaris studies, some traffickers travel through the corridor. St. Louis and Chicago, and if we don't think Minneapolis is right there among the top 20, we're mistaking. And where's Cedar Rapids? Between those three cities, it's right in the middle. And things are constantly changing, making it harder for law enforcement to keep up. Although the problem is complex, Law enforcement considers sex trafficking to actually be uh, a, big, a bigger illegal um, business, if you will, uh, than, than drug trafficking. There are small things citizens can start to look for. It's very mobile now, and which is one reason sometimes it makes it very hard to detect. Some say they can't wait, though. Something has to be done. Slavery was abolished 150 years ago, and yet there are more people in slavery, and that is what this is, is modern-day slavery, than at any other time in our history. Cedar Rapids is looking at starting a safe house for victims of trafficking, but for now, local organizations are working together to stop the problem. Covering the corridor in Cedar Rapids, Dora Miller, Fox 28 News.